fam welcome back today we're going to be reacting to an interview from mimi now this interview was by anthony lofties it's a super long interview y'all and it's really good and mimi goes into everything and it's two specific things that i'm going to react to today because she talked about two things that i found interesting i've already seen this whole interview i watched it last night but the two specific things i wanted to react to was when she talked about her fight with jocelyn yes she finally talked about y'all know every time mimi and jocelyn get into it mimi go you better be quiet before I beat you up again. And Jocelyn never say nothing. <laughs> so the audience has already put two and two together and figured out that there has obviously been a fight off camera where Mimi beat Jocelyn up. She finally talked about it, y'all. <laughs> so we gonna react to that. And then she also talked about the Drew and Ralph situation, which obviously has been the latest thing going on with her. So, so today we're gonna be reacting to the interview, specifically those parts. And if you guys are interested in the interview, I highly, highly recommend you go watch it. Like it is super long and it's actually really good. But yeah, let's get into it. Bundy, Mimi. Are you a fighter because I always believed you was a kick? <laughs> Listen, when it's necessary, when it's when it's absolutely necessary for me to go there, please believe I can hold my own. I'm going to tell you one thing. There was a reunion, I don't remember which one it was, and Jocelyn got her shoe and she stood up and she threw it at me and she, you know, I rah, rah, rah. And I sat there and I said, I'm going to whoop your ass again. And I meant again. We caught we we caught I'm that. There. We don't leave that right there. I'm glad she finally addressed it, girl. We've been caught like that. Not TV. I'm talking about real life. That's why I didn't move because you already know what it is. Was not Stevie, but was Stevie around? Stevie? Who was there? Who was around when y'all got into that? We were at his house. <laughs> he, he told me to come over. They was at Stevie's house. He hadn't seen even in a minute. She was little. So I'm like, okay. He was like, my dad is here. He's cooking dinner. Bring the baby. I, I miss you guys. I want to see my baby. Cool. He failed to tell me that old girl was at the house. He loves her. Mm. So I get over there. And, you know what I'm saying? I don't know this at the time. She up in the bedroom. I'm downstairs with, you know, with the daddy. He's cooking. And then all hell broke loose. <laughs> so they fought in front of the family? In the house and, uh, uh, it was a mess. It was a mess. Allison, thank you so much, love. Bundy Blue said, yes, I know. Me, me. <laughs> I've always said you uh, beat her, beat her behind the scenes, okay? Sassy girl. Yeah. Sassy beat, sassy. So they got into a fight in front of the family? She said the daddy was downstairs. I'm pretty sure she brought her daughter over there. So they was fighting in front of the family? Also, was this before or after they had their little threesome? Because Stevie, Mimi, and Jocelyn all slept together at the same time so did they fight before or after that <laughs> so many questions i wish you would have asked like i wish you would have went a little bit more into it because i have so many questions <laughs> but she finally told us what happened jocelyn was at stevie's house mimi didn't know she was there and they got into it so many questions like was this before or after she found out about them messing around was this during filming still so many questions in my opinion but she has finally confirmed that she did be jostling up behind the scenes <laughs> okay so moving on we're gonna move on to her talking about the drew and ty situation have bravo reached out to you yes Ooh. next season next i season. told y'all it's gonna be on the season <laughs> Don't let me reach out to Andy. Andy, I know we had our little situation show. But if she gonna be on there next season, make her earn that check. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the person that we about to talk about. How, come on now. So, everyone, this is what came up. And this is why I had to speed up the interview. Mimi decided she wanted to upload something about Drew Sedora and her ex, Ty Young. If you all don't know, Mimi was dating Ty, and Drew Sedora is married to Ralph Pittman. Well, I guess Drew Sedora filed for divorce, and I think um, Ralph waited like an hour late or an hour behind, something like that, allegedly, and he was going to file divorce. Well... Mimi decided she wanted to upload a picture 
Hey, got all the blogs talking. Mimi, what is going on? I'm going to say this. What is done in the dark will come to the light. And that's, I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to leave it right there. I didn't even, I, I started, I attempted to look at some of the comments and I was like, okay, I'm not going to say a word. What's done in the dark will come. So, so they messing away. Period. Period. Wait for it. That's all I'm going to say. Can I ask you, when am I going to wait for it? Is it going to be for the next season after um, Housewives of Atlanta? It's currently rapping. Is it a possibility that we will see you back on TV about it? You'll see me back on TV, but it won't be about that. Okay, so it won't be about that. She's not going to be on Housewives. <laughs> Know that will not be about that. But I tell you, I'm my my energy and where I'm going is I'm so far past some fuck shit. I'm part of my language, my followers. I'm so far past. People are allowed to do what they want to do, right or wrong. People are gonna do what they want to do, and if that's what you choose to go do, by all means, but. It's gonna come out. So let me ask you this. Has Ralph reached out to you? Ooh. Ralph. Did Ralph reach out to This is messy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ralph. Ralph is messy. I need to go up there. Did he reach out to you? Because I'm saying what I, what I heard was Ooh. at the party, they said Ralph. Saw how close Drew and Ty was each other. And that made him uncomfortable. So I don't know exactly what happened at that, at that event, but that's what I was. And wasn't thinking. that Ron's birthday party? So when you post that, that picture or whatever, and everyone started reaching out to you or whatever, Ralph did reach out to you? Did he send you something? Maybe <laughs> she ain't saying no. She's saying a lot, actually. Okay, I need that energy to like move right quick and then come back. Like, Take the hint. <laughs> you gotta read between the lines. She's not gonna say it. <laughs> Listen, Linda. Listen, life be life. Okay, well, uh, are they too life life in each other? Hey. Okay, so like, how long did you suspect? Um, I suspected for some time, you know, when you, you know, somebody, if you've been with somebody for seven years, you know, when their energy shifts, you know, when, when, when something is not right, you have like a gut feeling and an instinct about it, even though they might not say nothing to you, you feel that person's energy when something's not when right. Acting different, and yeah. so I, I was feeling that I was feeling, I'm like, damn, like, energy is like off like real off do you feel that ty kind of want to be wanted to be back in the limelight a little since drew is actually on the show and it will bring more notoriety to her but why choose a married woman <laughs> Listen. <laughs> she could have been kenya's love interest for something why you go for the married woman yeah 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 I, i'm gonna say this When the shit come out, just do the math. Just do the math. And you figure it out. It's, well, so, me. it's so simple. It's more simple than one plus one equals two. Well, look, if Drew want to go, if she want to go, be a list, I, that's cool. But exactly. Ralph, if you want to come my way, that's fine. <laughs> they said you was gay. I said, Lord, send him my way because he can play the piano for me any day. <laughs> come on now. Come on, Ralph. I will merge you back. <laughs> okay. But yeah, that was just literally a small piece of the interview. The interview was about an hour and 45 minutes long. I suggest you go check it out. But yeah, okay. She said it's really simple. It's as simple as one plus one equals two. This is my theory since she said it's so simple. This is about the simplest thing I can think of. Drew cheated 
on Ralph with Ty. Ralph found out. That's why Ralph was going to file for divorce. Once Drew filed out, he was going to file for divorce. She ran down to the courthouse <laughs> and filed an hour before him. That's my theory. She said it's simple. That's about as simple as it can get, right? So they got divorced because Drew cheated on Ralph with Ty. That sounds pretty simple to me. And we got to remember what she did in the dungeon. She was she was playing around with Bolo. She may not have went as far as Portia and Tanya did, but she was playing around with Bolo. So honestly, it's not that hard to believe. Um, I just thought the divorce had more to do with Ralph being a horrible husband. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Since she said it's super simple, it's, it's very simple. That sounds very simple to me. <laughs> That's my theory. Um, y'all let me know what y'all think. She said it was super simple. So y'all let me know what y'all theories are in the comment section down below. Stay happy, healthy, and all of that good stuff. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.